I think is most meaningful about Air Force 60 years is the legacy of staying true to our core mission of meeting the growers' needs and helping to bridge the gaps between their needs and the, the chemical industry to keep table food safe. In my personal research program, it's been some of the most impactful work that I've done. Securing new chemistries for the blackberry growers in our region has been invaluable. Uh, getting those labels uh, registered for them to use, that's the type of thing that gets my phone ringing and gives me solutions that I can give to these growers. So uh, the IR4 really has been a huge impact for my research program. I work across a, a, a wide range of crops that includes um, greenhouse ornamentals, um, herbaceous perennials, and then of course um, vegetables and some of the other um, herbs and, and specialty crops. I think what's interesting is that over the years across from floriculture, as floriculture became more worldwide and we had influences and products from across the world, um, in some cases, we've had new pests emerge, um, and we've needed new tools to combat those pests. And IR4 has been so important in helping us come together, get those priorities, and, and get important tools to make sure that any new pests have been introduced on some of our crops that do not pose problems for our industries. A lot of the residue data that's collected for all the different pesticides that have been registered over the years is really useful and it has allowed IR4 to become a leader in the world um, to harmonize things like exporting fruits and vegetables around the country and dealing with uh, MRLs or maximum residue limits around the uh, whole world. The next 60 years are gonna bring a lot of challenges. First of all, you've got both U.S. and global nutritional needs and specialty crops, fruits and vegetables, nut and vine crops all bring high nutritional value to the public. Second of all, you've got, you know, public issues like safe foods that are low residue with, you know, uh, low perceived risk to, to health. So having the best tools available. Uh, you know, is a big part of that. You've got environmental pressures like Endangered Species Act, other, you know, considerations for non-target effects, things like that. And then you've got a global competitive marketplace that, you know, American farmers really have to compete in. IR4 came a few years ago with an integ integrated solution program on, on icing for wheat science. That's where we need to go. Uh, we need to have solution where maybe we are using less herbicide, more localized application of herbicide. But also taking advantage of new technologies. As an example, we worked with IR4 on, on a directed sprayer, intelligent sprayer if you want, which can detect the weeds on, on spray, uh, the herbicide exactly where we need it. So that's something that's a work that IR4 has been funding. Uh, on that, I think where we need to go in the future is really looking at more sustainable solutions in the future. A lot of my uh crops that I work on are kind of direct to consumer commodities like blueberries are consumed fresh and things like that. So there's a big interest in uh, biological control of fungicides. Some of our biological products are actually becoming pretty strong and, and, and able to control pests, uh, where traditionally that has been kind of site-specific chemicals. So it's really great that IR4 will have this role in getting some of these bio fungicides registered. For the next 60 years, I envision us also sticking close to that core mission, but also evolving as the grower needs evolve and technology evolves. I see us looking into different directions for crop protection if need be, and um, but still keeping their needs and our mission at the forefront. During my tenure in my job, you know, we have had so many new pest outbreaks and we have had pests become resistant to products that have worked well for a number of years. And so the challenge is, I tell people we've gotten, um, we have solutions for the easiest problems. The problems that are left are the most difficult ones. And I think IRA4 is up to the challenge of handling these most difficult and complex issues that will come from either um, pests maybe increasing their host range to becoming accustomed to fungicides that used to control them, and again, to the worldwide movement of plants. So I think IR4 is well poised to handle these most difficult problems uh, moving forward. And so I think that's exciting.